Columbia, SC, in their first debate in a race that has shattered fundraising records and become among the more closely watched Senate contests of this cycle, U.S. Senator Lindsey Graham of South Carolina and Democratic challenger Jamie Harrison drew multiple contrasts between their campaigns but also both portrayed themselves as willing to work across the aisle to achieve legislative progress. What you need to know South Carolina Senator Lindsey Graham faced off against his opponent, Democratic nominee Jamie Harrison, in their first debate on Saturday Graham is seeking a fourth term in the Senate Harrison, 44, is an associate Democratic National Committee chairman and former lobbyist Harrison's campaign said they raised $340,000 during the debate in the hour that followed in his pursuit of a fourth term. Graham, chairman of the Senate Judiciary Committee, also argued the case for his chief congressional goal at the moment, the confirmation of President Donald Trump's latest Supreme Court nominee. After Harrison, an associate Democratic National Committee chairman and former lobbyist, said Saturday night that he and his wife were still paying off their student loans, Graham snapped back that, given what he's seen of Harrison's income from released tax returns, you're a multimillionaire, and you can't pay off your student loans? Harrison described himself as willing to work with Republicans on a variety of issues, describing when, as state Democratic chairman, he became close friends with his GOP counterpart. He also critiqued the longtime lawmakers' previous support of 12-year term limits and added, I do believe the ultimate term limit is in the power of the people here in South Carolina. In response, Graham promoted himself as a conservative unafraid to work with Democrats, mentioning issues like immigration, and telling voters, you can limit my term on November 3 if you'd like. From his opening statement and throughout nearly every answer of the hour-long debate, Graham worked in his support for a conservative judiciary and particularly Amy Coney Barrett, whom he called a buffer to liberalism, he hoped, won't be treated like Kavanaugh, in her upcoming confirmation hearings. It was Graham's fiery 2018 defense of Brett Kavanaugh that helped cement his now close relationship with Trump, as well as renew support with some who hadn't seen Graham as conservative enough to represent South Carolina. That moment, Graham said Saturday, also riled up liberals he now says are pouring $100 million into Harrison's campaign and groups supporting him, to try to oust Graham. Where the hell is all this money coming from? Graham asked. This is about liberals hating my guts when I stood up for Kavanaugh. This is about me helping President Trump. Harrison, 44, castigated Graham, 65, for what he characterized as contradictory positions on whether it's appropriate to fill Supreme Court vacancies in a presidential election year, 